10 years ago when my wife and I first got married, we were living the newlywed life. And I can remember what actually led to our very first fight. And it's all about communication, miscommunication or lack of communication. And to this day, that's still the number one reason why I think a lot of couples have arguments, you know, discussions or anything. They're just trying to communicate and hopefully the better you can become at communication, you know, the more stronger your marriage can become. But one day in our first year of marriage, uh, we were driving and I was telling a story. I don't remember exactly what, but I was just talking and talking. And then I stopped and I asked my wife a question. I said, so what do you think? And I turned and I looked and I realized she was just staring out the window. And I said, hey, Marsha. And she kind of like looked, had no idea what I was saying. And I said, you're ignoring me. And she just gave me a look and looked right back out the window. And I thought, well, what was that? So things got a little quiet, you know, nobody said anything and I kept driving. I started thinking about all the possibilities of what could be running through her mind. Is she upset about something? Is she upset about me? You know, did I do something wrong? I don't know, but she really wasn't paying attention and she really wasn't interested in paying attention anymore. So we're going about our day, we go to church and uh, you know, I open up the hymnal and I kind of like hold it over to her. She looks down at it and looks back up and I was like, you're ignoring me again. Nothing, silence. Okay, something is definitely wrong and I, can, I, I know for sure that I have no idea what it is. So I spend the rest of the service trying to figure it out. I come and lean a little bit into her and she kind of pushes away. I put my arm around her. She kind of wants it off and I'm trying to figure out what's going on. The ride back home, silence. And we're trying to, to I ask her a question, nothing. And she's just completely shut down. We finally make it home and you know we're going to our bedroom and I'm just trying to figure out I have no idea what's going on but we're gonna have to figure this out so I finally stop and I look at her and I say can we talk and she looks at me doesn't say a word and just gives me the fine talk kind of thing and I said I don't know what's going on but I want to fix this right now and she said well it's you I don't know what type of wife you want me to be and I don't know what type of wife you need if all I do is annoy you. And I stopped. What? What did you say? And she said, you told me that I'm annoying to you. And I stopped. And all of a sudden I replayed every conversation we had up until the time. And then I realized it. Sorry, miscommunication, time out. Are you talking about when we were in the car driving? She said, yes. And I kind of smiled and then I started laughing. And then I said, I was telling a story. Then I asked you a question and I saw you weren't paying attention. So I said, you're ignoring me. And then she stopped and said, what? And I said, I said, you're ignoring me. And all of a sudden I saw her kind of smirk a little bit and then a smile break out. And I said, I did not say you're annoying me. I said, you're ignoring me. And all of a sudden it was like the ice finally broke. I started to laugh, she started to laugh, and then we started replaying the entire night and saw how much of a change everything was because we misunderstood one word. I thought she was ignoring me and because she thought she was annoying me, she stayed silent. And the rest of the night, every time I continued to press on her, she thought, well, if I'm annoying him, I better not say anything and I better not talk. And all that did was solidify this little communication problem we were having into an argument. And we still laugh about that. And again, it's been over 10 years and we still talk about it because it was a miscommunication that led to an entire night of arguments and an entire night of, 
of you know silence but all that to say is look take your time pay close attention speak things clearly because you don't know what the other person is hearing you may say one thing they may hear another and vice versa to take things calmly listen to one another pay attention to one another and i think things will go a lot more smoothly for you. Okay, so have you ever had a time where a lack of communication, miscommunication just completely changed the entire night for you or entire day? Let me know in the comments below or message me and I'd love to hear about it.